हमारे रहीम अस्सलाम वालेकुम डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द ऑनलाइन लेक्चर ऑन कंट्रोल सिस्टम्स टुडे दिस इज अ शॉर्ट वीडियो अबाउट यूज ऑफ क्लासिकल कंट्रोल टूल्स सच एज बोडे प्लॉट एंड नाइकोस प्लॉट फॉर मॉडर्न कंट्रोल सिस्टम मॉडल्स व्हिच आर द स्टेट स्पेस बेस्ड मॉडल्स सो वी ऑफन स्टडी क्लासिकल कंट्रोल टूल्स इन द अंडर ग्रेजुएट कोर्सेज एंड देन व्हेन वी कम टू द लीनियर सिस्टम्स थ्योरी कोर्स इन द मास्टर्स और सम अदर कोर्सेज इन एडवांस्ड कंट्रोल सिस्टम्स डिग्रीज देन वी स्टडी द स्टेट स्पेस बेस्ड मॉडल्स एंड कंट्रोल डिजाइन यूजिंग द स्टेट स्पेस बेस्ड मॉडल्स बट ऑफन the connection between the transfer function based models and the state space based model is missing in those courses so this short video will be covering uh, that aspect so first of all conversion of state space to transfer function i hope that this is taught at undergraduate level uh, uh, if you have a system x dot equal ax plus bu y is equal to cx then uh, we have uh, Uh, th this is for single input and single output systems uh, because for multi input and multi output systems there will be a transfer function matrix not a single transfer function the corresponding transfer function for the single input single output state space system is given by g of s is equal to c into si minus a inverse into b and uh, now once you have this transfer function for the state space system now you have to ask this question that is it an open loop transfer function or is it a closed loop transfer function so the answer is that g of s this is the the if you look at the block diagram of the feedback control loop in the classical control systems then c into si minus a inverse b that is just this g of s so that is just the transfer function of the plant you still have to find the transfer function of the controller Uh, in order to uh, you know have uh, some sort of uh, connection so going back to so, uh, here this is the state space system and the transfer function you get that is the transfer function of the plant only so the open loop transfer function is k of s into g of s so remember this if you don't remember i will post some uh, links of the related videos Uh, in the description of this video so that if you don't have or you if you have forgotten the prior knowledge or the basics of control systems you can watch them online okay the closed loop transfer function is uh, k of s into g of s over 1 plus k of s into g of s so this is again through block diagram algebra you can calculate this and if you are to use some bode plot or the nyquist plot to analyze the stability gain margin or phase margin of this system you have to sketch the bode plot and nyquist plot using the open loop transfer function which is k of s into g of s and the op the bode and nyquist of this open loop transfer function will give you the properties of the corresponding closed loop transfer function like the in order to find the stability of the closed loop transfer function you don't have to plot uh, the you are don't have to sketch the bode plot of this closed loop transfer function you can sketch the bode plot of the open loop transfer function and that will tell you about the closed loop transfer function as long as there is unity feedback with negative sign so well i do also have lectures on bode plot and nyquist plot i will uh, uh, share the links of those lectures in in the description of this video so back to the transfer function from uh, state space so this was the formula for getting the transfer function from the state space but now we are interested in uh, this is the uh, transfer function of the plant only so what about this input u and what about the transfer function of the control law now suppose we have like a two state system x1 and x2 are the two states and y is equal to x1 so x1 is the output of the system and x1 dot is equal to x2 x2 dot is some expression involving uh, the variable u or something so if this is like a double derivative uh, type of a system where you know the, in in physics this system occurs a lot of times for example the derivative of the position is velocity and uh, like sometimes uh, you also use uh, 
the derivatives of the angle angle is angular velocity or something like that the motion based system has a lot of these things then uh, if you assign some linear control law for the input u u is equal to kx with minus kx which is like u is equal to minus x1 minus 2 times x2 so really in terms of output this is minus y and minus 2 times y dot so it is like a pd controller where this is the proportional term and this is the derivative term so kp will be minus 1 and kd will be minus 2 so <coughs> the uh, the controller in this case would be uh, a pd controller in the classical sense so this is the modern controller u is equal to minus kx and in the classical sense this is a uh, this becomes a pd controller minus 1 uh, minus 2s and if you like you get the transfer function of the plant from this formula c into si minus a inverse b and the transfer function of the controller is minus 1 minus 2s which you have uh, gotten from your intuition that you know x2 state is really the derivative of the x1 and x1 is the output of the system so in the stabilization problems we have uh, uh, proportional gain multiplied with the error of uh, the output and derivative gain is multiplied with the derivative of the output uh, error of the output in this case the desirable value for y is zero so that is why this is just minus y not y desired minus y uh, so in this video i'm assuming that you know at least the basics of the control systems again if you don't you can uh, f uh, follow the links in the description of this video and uh, refresh your basics so in general uh, you can find the transfer function or the open loop transfer function from any given state space model with designed controller u is equal to minus kx with this formula so k into si minus a inverse b this gives you uh, k of s into g of s so you can try that for this uh, uh, second order system as well or any system that k into si minus a inverse b this gives you the open loop transfer function c into si minus a inverse b this gives you just the transfer function of the plant similarly now suppose we have an observer in the system so the we have x dot equal x plus b u y is equal to c x and this is a Lewin-Berger observer x hat dot is equal to a x hat plus b u the copy of the system dynamics plus the correction term l c into x minus x hat so for this uh, the open loop transfer function is given by k of s into g of s will be g of s will be c into s i minus a inverse b and this uh, term k observer of s this is given by k times si minus a plus bk plus lc whole inverse times l where k is the uh, gain of the controller in modern control and l is the gain of the observer in modern control and g is equal to again the same thing c into si minus a inverse b and u is equal to minus kx hat so k gain is applied to the state estimates in the observer based control instead of the state itself so these this this is the open loop transfer function which you can uh, apply Bode plot to and uh, uh, let's see is some of the MATLAB uh, simulation so for example uh, this is the code for the same uh, for some third order system we have a third order system with matrix A B and C <coughs> and we find the uh, controller gain by placing the closed loop poles at minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and observer gain by placing the observer poles uh, at minus 2 minus 5 minus 7 and then we have the transfer function is k into si minus a inverse b and the observer transfer function is k into si minus a plus b k plus lc whole inverse into l so these are the transfer function for uh, controller based and observer based uh, open loop transfer function so back to 
here so the, these are the uh, so here we find the gain k and the gain or the observer gain l and then this is k into si minus a inverse b and this is the k into uh, so this again let me show you here so this is k into si minus a plus b k lc whole inverse into l this is this gain and then the transfer function of the plant is c into si minus a inverse b and the transfer function uh, due to observer is uh, k o k o which is this uh, this thing times the transfer function of the plant this is the open loop transfer function with the observer base system <coughs> and this is the open loop transfer function without the observer with full state feedback full state feedback means that we are measuring every state and then applying the control based on the state variables and this observer based control means that we are not measuring every state uh, but we are measuring uh, maybe some of the states and estimating the other states based on the measurements so obviously uh, the full state uh, feedback since we have direct measurement of all the states it is uh, more accurate and the observer based uh, uh, feedback control system that is uh, less accurate but it's uh, cheaper because you need lesser number of sensors so once in order to plot the uh, body plot for the controller based and the observer based you can use the margin command and once i run this you can uh, see the, the results it will take a few seconds so since i have just uh, started matlab uh, okay the results are here and you can see here that these are the body plots so the this is the body plot of the system with uh, full state feedback and this is the body plot of the system with uh, Lewinberger observer so you can see here that the body plot of the full state feedback system is like more um, i would say uh, it's a it it is like uh, its shape is uh, a little bit uh, better compared to this uh, observer based uh, system which is like a i don't know how you define better but uh, you can see here that for the state feedback uh, system the gain margin is infinity because the phase never crosses 180 degrees but in observer based system the phase crosses at uh, 180 degree at some uh, phase crossover frequency which is uh, 3.49 radians per second so gain margin is not infinite and the uh, phase margin is actually less in this case compared to this case uh, but overall uh, the state feedback uh, system of course uh, it gives a better performance uh, compared to the observer based uh, systems uh, at best observer based systems can uh, perform as well as the full state feedback systems obviously the reason is that we have we are measuring the actual states here and we are not measuring the states we are estimating the states so based on the estimates we are uh, doing applying all the control theory so this uh, the purpose of this video is to enable you to uh, use uh, you can also use the nyquist uh, commands instead of margin commands to plot the nyquist uh, for the same two systems uh, and uh, uh, this is basically the bridge uh, this is how you convert uh, an observer based system into a transfer function and this is how you convert a full state feedback controller based system into a transfer function so i hope this video was uh, useful for you thank you for watching uh, please subscribe if you want to get more videos about control systems thank you